Hey lovelies, thanks for stopping by my channel today. It is time for another BYOP. Yes, I have shopped my stash, all of my eyeshadow singles to bring you another 10 pan of magical pretties. And I'm very excited for this one. Today we are doing our holiday palette. So I really wanted to pick out shades that I truly feel like I could use through the entire holiday season. Now, if we haven't met before, my name is Kelly and I'm a professional hair and makeup artist. And here on my channel, I strive to keep beauty real. Real honest, real relatable, and real fun. So if that sounds like something you'd enjoy, don't forget to click subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on future videos. Now, if you are new to this BYOP series, I started this with Kara from Beauty in the Frizz and we were really just talking about wanting to have a way to celebrate our single shadows and really bring them to the forefront of our beauty space. And we have had Kendra Morgan Official join in because Kendra has an amazing, beautiful collection of singles and I really love her content. So I'm so glad that she has hopped in on this. So the three of us are bringing you our holiday palettes, as I have said, and we also encourage all of you to join in on the fun. So please make sure that if you are a creator here on YouTube, you tag us if you decide to share your holiday palette. And we love getting to hear that it's encouraged all of you to bring out your singles. So we're not gonna take too much time here. I really wanna show you all these pretties. Uh, I love this palette and I'm gonna give you a little up close here without blinding you. This is totally for me, like what I will go towards wearing around the holidays. I also feel like, boy, this could almost be like a fall vibes palette, but these are the tones that I love wearing and we will be getting into swatches. I'm gonna be creating an eye look and I'm really excited because hopefully this is gonna be like the like jumpstart to my holiday vibes. <laughs> I did put on a nice little like chunky cozy sweater to kind of get in the mood. Today actually I can I can actually use this sweater. It's pretty darn cold outside. However, I am realizing that uh, this was not the best sweater to wear to um, swatch. <laughs> I, I literally cannot like get this up much further. So what I think I'm going to do is insert some up close swatches so that you can see all of the pretties in this palette and I'll share with you, you know, kind of like why I chose them but I'll probably be wearing something different and maybe I'll have my makeup fully done. <laughs> so we're just gonna jump right into this. Let's get into those swatches from Future Kelly right now. All right, so here we have our shades in this holiday palette. We have the shade Nightingale from Pretties For Your Face. This shadow is just such a, it's like a mystery shadow, I have to be honest. Like it has an almost like taupey, purpley base, but that green, like I just tapped this over a dark green cream shadow. I showed it on my Instagram stories and it was just so amazing. Then the next shade we have is Be The Sunshine. This is a beautiful like old gold, except it's more of that like greeny gold. So it's like a new green gold, not really an old gold, but you guys know what I'm saying. <laughs> so that is from Sydney Grace. And then this next one is Saudade, Saudad, oh my gosh. <laughs> of course this is a Davina shadow because I don't know how the hell to pronounce it. So this is this beautiful, like it's a slightly grungy green, but it really does have that really nice like green green to it, if that makes any sense. <laughs> and then the next shade we have is Lost Princess from uh, Sydney Grace. The other one that I thought was, it's almost a dead ringer for this, is Spiked from Terra Moons, if you happen to have that one. Uh, I did notice that they were pretty darn close. So then the next one we have is Chickadee. Now here I have it in the original Makeup Geek pans, but I do know that the shade was brought into the new square pan formula. And then this next one here is Voodoo by Davina. And this one I just talked about in my Davina Founders Favorites video. This is one that I got because of the founder and CEO Deandra, because this is one of her favorites. And so I bought it and I was like, wow, this is so pretty. I don't know if you can see it here, but this shadow is like a beautiful cocoa brown with micro flex of like almost like a pinky copper. When I get a little bit closer, hopefully you'll be able to see. So then this baby right here is chromatic. And I love the shade. I have to be honest, I have already done the look for this video. And when I put this on my inner corner, I was like, wow, this went so well with everything because it just, it just has so many colors to it. You can see there's like this like greenish shade to it. And then you've got this like almost ambery red and like some gold, oh, so pretty. And then this shade right here is another Sydney Grace shade. This one is Trailhead. So I think this one is from the Mountain Walk Mountain something bundle. Uh, this is, obviously it has a little bit more of that blue green than Saudad, 
sedated. Oh my gosh, Deandra. Anyway, <laughs> from the Davina one. So this one just has a little bit more of that blueiness to it, which I thought is a nice option to have in case you want to kind of bring in a different color story into this look. And then here, this one here, this is definitely one that needs a close up. This is Lover from Glam Shop. And Lover is one of the velvet formulas. So it is a like satin shade, let me grab the pan here. So it is a satin shade, but it is filled with like micro flecks of glitter. And the glitter is like almost like a pinky tone. Ugh, it is so, so pretty. And then the last one, do not hate on me people. This is a pressed glitter. I'm sorry, I am team glitter. I have no problem using glitter. So just, just give me a moment here. <laughs> This one, when I went to go find the translation from Polish, I just realized they don't make it anymore. But this was Dierska Zielin, uh, and it is so pretty. Like, can you see? It's like a shifty glitter. Ugh, it's so pretty, and I have no problem using glitters. But I really do just think that this, this is really like holiday for me. It totally is, but I think that there's a lot of different ways you can combine these into looks that aren't just like red-green. <laughs> anyway, let me give you guys a close-up. All right, I am really excited to get some makeup on this Fache. I really just did like a light base and no concealer. Because we have some sparklies in here, I have a feeling there might be a wee bit of fallout. We will see, I'm obviously going to avoid that, but we'll see if I pull out this glitter shade. I'm not sure. I probably should since I put it in here and I really am team glitter. I think if done properly, it can be really fun, really cute. So we might have to pull out this glitter, but when you do that, you always have to be prepared. So I decided I would just leave off the concealer in case we ran into any obstacles. All right, so we're just gonna jump right in. So I might just do a little like chatty session with you today. I believe the last one I did, our spooky vibes, uh, I just did like a speed through, but there's two things. Number one, I just kind of feel like chatting. And number two, um, I refuse. I refuse to put on holiday music until the day after Thanksgiving. And right now it is the week of Thanksgiving, but it's only November 22nd. So it is too early. <laughs> it's too early for holiday music. So we're just gonna chat a little bit. Now for my brushes today, I'm really excited to be using the Blend Bunny Cosmetics brushes. This is a set of five beautiful teeny tiny brushes here. Uh, this is obviously like not necessarily part of this video, but I just recently got these. And I know that this video is gonna be going up on Wednesday. And I know that the brand is doing a Blends Day Wednesday where you can get 25% off of this brush set and I think all of their other products. So I'm showcasing these hoping that they will still be available when this video goes live because I am really liking this brush set for a beautiful vegan brush set. $32 regularly before the 25% off is really good. And I've used these a couple times. They're very soft. If you have hooded eyes, if you really like doing detail work, these are going to be beautiful. That's what I'm gonna use. I might have to pull in one or two other ones, but this is primarily what we'll be using. All right, so first of all, I'm going to go through with my Urban Decay Eden eyeshadow primer. Now this eye primer is like definitely getting down to the bottom of the barrel. So I'm trying to use it up before it like gets a little crusty. So we're, we're definitely trying to use it a lot. Uh, by the way, if you are hearing some banging and clanging, Jeremy and his son are putting together a like wardrobe armor thing a couple rooms down. So, you know, I couldn't exactly be like, excuse me, I need to put on eyeshadow. Could you stop doing all the things that need to be done? Thank you. So please forgive that background noise. I'm going to try to edit out as much as I can, but you know, life happens. Okay, as per usual with the Urban Decay Primer, I really do like to put down a little uh, translucent powder just so that I don't get too much grippiness. Like I love the staying power that this primer gives shadows, but it really creates like a slightly, like a slight tuggy feel. Like you can definitely get like some like skid marks. <laughs> Wow, uh, okay, <laughs> but you know what I'm saying? So I like to put down a little translucent powder and let's face it, I'm still still working on this project pan item. Right, now we're gonna go through uh, the one brush that I knew that I was gonna need to pull out is a flat shader brush. This is the A505 from the BK Beauty Angie Hot and Flashy set. Another set that is coming back tomorrow as I'm filming this, it'll be back on Tuesday. And uh, I, I really love my set. I wanna get another one. 
I know that it's gonna be part of the sale that they're doing. BK Beauty is gonna be doing a 20% off sale. I do have a code for 10% off. That's Keep Beauty Real. Um, the code, by the way, is not affiliate. I do have an affiliate link if you did wanna support me. I will put it down below, but the code is not affiliate. But anyway, uh, I know that this is gonna be in that 20% off sale, but I know that Lisa said that they, in order to get some for the sale, they just did like a partial batch send out, so they're really limited. So, all right, so I've laid that down on my inner two thirds. Now with that same brush on the other side, I'm going to take Lost Princess, I think. And then like where those two shadows meet, I'm just kind of like tapping a little Lost Princess over uh, Be the Sunshine so that we get that like kind of like ambery color. This is a really, this is a really fun combo. So how is everybody doing in their prep for the holidays? Uh, I had to go to the grocery store today <laughs> for my mother. Mom, I love you because I don't think that I would have gone to this like mega store if it weren't for her. I thought, thought maybe because today is Monday and you know, a lot of people work on Mondays. I thought that it wouldn't be too bad. I tried to go like um, after work time starts, but before lunchtime and it, it did not matter. I mean, Oh, I'm glad that I got out of there without causing bodily harm to someone. And I know you think I'm joking, but I'm kind of not. It was it was very frustrating. So there was an item that my mother was looking for for dessert uh, that you know she's had a hard time finding. And a lot of times this store you can find a lot of things that you can't elsewhere. So she was like, "Are you gonna go there?" I was like, "Nope, but I will for you." So that's what I did. And alas, I did not find it. And while I was there, I was like, "Well, I might as well get the other things." that I need and uh, <laughs> resulted in me getting lots of stress. So it was, uh, was less than ideal, but I made it through, I got out uh, and I'm ready to get some things done for the holidays. So for Thanksgiving, my mom, she does a lot of the food prep herself. And you know, I think the thing that I'm known for bringing are these like candied pecans. So I'm definitely doing that. I think Jeremy's gonna make some stuffing. He loves a good like homemade stuffing. So, well, I mean, I think everybody loves a good homemade stuffing. Uh, <laughs> I just, I usually just don't partake in the stuffing, but it is really delicious. Jeremy's stuffing is very good. So that's probably going to be our contribution to the family meal. And I'm really excited because my family, we do a lot of like, games and we play card games and other games and you know usually it ends up being a long night and uh you know in the past i've gone black friday shopping with my family every every year every year since i don't even know i think my mom and i started going when i was like 17 maybe maybe 18 but it's like that was when quote unquote Black Friday shopping literally started on Black Friday. And it started on Black Friday at like 6 a.m. I remember standing outside of some stores at like 4 a.m. waiting like a ridiculous person. And now it's like, pff, the sales are like almost over by 4 a.m. on Black Friday. So, um, which I really, it always bumps me out because I don't like it like shortening Thanksgiving day, but what are you gonna do? All right, so now on the Blend Bunny B3, we'll see how this picks up on this just with this like micro fine glitter. I don't know how it's gonna go, but I'm going to take that Lover shade from Glam Shop and we're just placing a little bit on the outer edge and then like layering that over uh, the Lost Princess shade. So I'm just kind of like using that as my like outer V shade. I don't know if this would necessarily be like the holiday look I'm gonna be wearing to Thanksgiving. I would maybe, I would to not maybe, I would totally wear this for like a girl's night out holiday thing because you know, like mm, you wanna be wearing a look like this around people who are really going to appreciate the work, <laughs> the work that goes into it. So I don't know that my family is necessarily gonna be like, wow, Kelly. I mean, they would definitely be like, wow, Kelly, but I don't know if in a positive way. I don't really have like uh, any quote unquote makeup lovers in my family. Do you, do you all have people in your life that uh, really like that you feel like you have the same love for beauty, skincare, makeup, like whatever it is? Um, I, I really don't. I have a couple friends that really get into it too, but really not that many. All right, so I'm gonna start out with the B2 brush in Saudad. That is that, uh, 
that lighter of the two green shades. And with these, I really wanna make sure to blend them close enough, but not really like marry them too much because it's gonna create a lot of like murk just with the like green and the red. That'll just end up starting to look kind of brown. All right, now I'm taking the B1 and I am just going to like blend that upper edge just to really like get a softer edge to the shape. It's like obviously a very extreme shape, but I just want a like softer edge to this. And then I'm just adding chickadee. I wasn't going to, I was just going to do the green, but I feel like I just want a little bit of a kind of like quote unquote neutrally shade in here. Okay, and then I'm just taking the B5. This is the biggest blend brush and I'm just honestly kind of like swirling that along that edge. I feel like this side got a little, it's not perfect, it's not perfect, but I have decided I think, cause I don't know that I've ever done this. I think I'm just gonna put some of that green glitter like right where the green meets the other shades. I think that's gonna be fun. So that's what I'm gonna do. I think I'm going to use my glam glue. So I'm gonna take a little bit of glam glue, probably on like a lip brush, and then lay some of that down and then use that lip brush to tap on some of this glitter. So we are going to just add this, like, ooh, look, I think that's gonna really draw in all the colors. I love this. So uh, this is definitely a part that I'm not gonna talk through though, so I'll be right back. Okay, I I don't know if you guys can see how that glitter kind of catches light. This is really pretty. Uh, it's a lot of color, it's a lot of color going on. So obviously I'm going to do the same thing over here and then I might just go ahead and do some upper mascara and lashes and then we'll go ahead and finish up once I've cleaned up the fallout, got some concealer on, I'll be right back. Ta-da! <laughs> I really like this so far. So most of the time when I do a very like look on the top, I try not to go too crazy on the bottom, just to kind of like keep it a little a little less like whoa, but I still feel like I need to balance this out. Anyway, what I'm gonna do is go through with Virago. Uh, I've talked about this one recently, so I'm going to use this on the lower lash line. I might pull in a little bit of Nightingale as our like lower inner corner, and then if I'm liking the look of that, I might bring it up and in. We will see, but that's what we're gonna do. So I know before I was talking about like holiday festive music, what camp are you from? Are you from the camp of like, yeah, holiday music starts as soon as it's available. I love it, I want it, I need it. Or are you like, ugh, <laughs> like, are you one of those people who's like, no, no, I don't want it too early. Please don't make me listen to anything before, you know, like mid-December. I would, I would really be curious to know because uh, I am somewhere in the middle, like at work, I start adding in like, whatever type, you know, like holiday themed music. Right away after Thanksgiving, I am old school and I use Pandora. And so I'll add in, like I have the like premium package or whatever. So I'll add in holiday stations. Like I'll add one into my mix and then I'll add in a couple more as the days go on. And then eventually like, um, for me, like the week of Christmas, it's usually like 75% Christmas music. But if I go to ham, too early, by the time Christmas rolls around, I'm like, no, <laughs> I'm so sick of it. So I don't wanna feel that way, so. So I know that I was talking about this, but I feel like this Virago shade is so, it's such a multitasker because you really truly can buff this out, like, because I'm using this like, I mean, these aren't, this isn't fluffy by any means, it's still pretty dense, but it's not like, it's not like I'm packing it on with a flat shader. I'm getting more of that like, dark brown without a lot of the reflect. So you're able to almost use this like a mat, which is again, why I put that in. And I'm taking the B4 brush just to like carry this up and into that line. I, I didn't want it to be like super harsh, but I didn't like, I'll do this like nice crisp line right here. And then I'm like, oh no, that's a little too intense. So then usually I take whatever color is down below and just like kind of blur it up and in so that there's still a bit of crispness 
from what's above, but it kind of like marries into what's below. Does that make sense? All right, really loving that. So now I'm going to take the A504 from Angie set from BK Beauty, and I'm going to dip into Nightingale. And we're just gonna like fluff a little bit of this right along the inner corner. I think I wanna use something a bit more compact. I actually like that, but it's a little more like grungy because you know I kinda like carried it into the um, Voodoo shade. So I'm gonna take this flat shader, uh, the A505, and I'm just gonna press this in. Cause then we're gonna get a little bit more of the sparkle. <sighs> I like that on the inner corner. It just adds a little something, but it's gonna to be too dark for this look, especially because I don't know why I feel like my inner corner is just super dark today. Oh, by the way, in case you're curious, I didn't even fill you in. <laughs> on my eyes, I have the Vixen Lashes from Glamnetic. Um, I actually use the Moxie Lash liner though, the like regular liquid liner. And then for my concealer, I use the uh, Bye Bye Under Eye. I got this little guy and I'm still trying to decide how I feel about it. So I just used a very small amount of that. And of course, the A506, the Baby 101. I really love this. I saw that Lisa said that um, these brushes will be available in the spring individually, and I, I cannot wait, because I'm, I'm seriously gonna get like three more of that brush, because I cannot stop using it. <laughs> okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and take that Cleona shade. Uh, we are gonna go ahead and put that on our inner corner, because I do want something just like a pop of light. This is a magical shade. Can you see the magic of the shade? I feel like sometimes, even when you swatch shadows, you really don't know how truly beautiful they are until you get them like on the eye. I think I am going to carry this and almost touch it to that glitter. I love this because it really does like tile this in. We have a little bit of yellow, like a yellowy green, and a little bit of that red too. So it's like all of the colors. I love this. Okay, so here we are with our eye look. Like I have to say, the more that I wear this, the more that I love this. It's obviously a lot. It's a lot, but like I said, if you had a holiday party, if you love wearing eyeshadow, this would totally be great. So I only have bronzer on, so I think I'm going to go and very quickly add a little blush, possibly a highlighter. Maybe I'll just do a glowy blush. I don't know, and a lip, be right back back for the full face. I did indeed just go through with a glowy blush. This is the Mood Boost blush from Kiko Milano. This is Coral Sunset. I did this in a, did I call this and used it? I don't know, I've used it a few times here on my channel, but it is just like a beautiful, like, coral. Yeah, I was about to say it's like a warm pinky, which is a coral, so I just threw a little bit of that on. I wanted to keep it fairly soft because I did put on like quite a bit of bronzer and I just wanted a little bit of color through the cheeks and I feel like we've got enough going on that I don't I don't need a lot of highlight. My skin looks nice and glowy. Uh, and then for lip, I started out with this Jason Wu uh, Leave Me Alone lip liner and that's the shade, by the way. Uh, it was just a little too like brownie nude, so then I went through with this MD Glow flagship. Uh, this is one of their like bullet lipsticks. They have like a these like creamy lipsticks, and then they have the liquid lipsticks. I really like these like bullet lipsticks. They are very very nice. I like this shade. It's a little bit more mauvey than what's showing right now because obviously I like browned it out a little bit, but. It's very very pretty. I like this one a lot. Good like fall winter go to, and that is it. That is it. You'll have to let me know what you think. I really think, boy, I, I'm loving this little holiday set. Obviously, I couldn't use all the shades in here, but boy, I really sure did use, oh my gosh, I did use all of them but that dark green, which I could have done, but we didn't need that. So wow, I feel pretty good. And that's the thing about like these looks is I find that the times that I try to use more of the shades, obviously it just ends up being more dramatic. There's a lot of times that I wouldn't necessarily be pairing all of those things, but I do really think that you could pair, like you could pair Voodoo with this uh, Lost Princess. You could, I mean, pair Nightingale with like any of these shades. I think that the like uh, kind of foresty green that you get out of this shade from Sydney Grace, the uh, trailhead shade. I mean, that could be really pretty with like this gold. You could, again, use it with Nightingale. Obviously the green sparkle is just a fun little bit. And oh, this inner corner shade. Let me tell you, this Cleona shade, which one is this again? I've already forgotten it. Chromatic. I love this shade. 
I love the shade. This might be one of my favorites that I have. Totally love it. Of course, you have some easy neutrals in here. I mean, I think very easily. Like if you just wanted to put this all over the lid and into the crease, you could put Voodoo on your outer corner and under the lash line and then like a little Nightingale or Chromatic and you'd be done. You'd have like a beautiful, like warm, nudie look and you could be totally done. But obviously there's some other fun ones. And I am so glad that I finally used this Lover shade. I really like it. Obviously, you know, we just got a little bit of it on that outer corner, but this is a really fun one because I think it's like that red with a, just enough pink to it that it makes it like quote unquote wearable. I really do like it. So I hope that you enjoyed this. I cannot wait to see what the other girls do with their palettes. Every time, every single time that I put together a palette, it always goes slightly in a different direction than what I had intended. And I, I think that part of that is just because you only get 10 shades. And I'm always like, oh, but I was gonna put this and this in there. And then you're just limited. You're just limited with 10 shades, but I think it, it it's always a lot of fun. So please don't forget to go check out their channels. I will have their videos linked down below. I cannot wait. I love the day that we launched these and I love getting to see what they create. Oh, hold on, hold on. I'm back because I forgot. Uh, Kara and I said that we were going <laughs> to announce the next month's palette in this month's video. We kept saying we were gonna do that so that everyone could plan if you do want to play along in our BYOP adventures. So next month, we will obviously be posting at the end of December for January. So we thought it would be very fitting to do a reflections palette. So it'll be 10 shades reflecting on the year. It'll probably be a very chatty little option and I'm really excited for this one. So if you wanna join in, next month will be reflections. And thank you so much to all of you for spending some time with me. It means so much that you take some time out of your day to spend it with me. And I really hope you enjoyed this. If you did, don't forget to give it a like. Again, please tag us on Instagram if you're a creator and you want to add your video to the community playlist. I'll have that link down below and I'll see you really soon.